Get cut off there. Hang again. So it's a bit bumpy, the vision, isn't it? So I'm going to have to use a piece of string or a rubber band. To tie it from to tie it solid. Like around us, there's one, two, three, four. So we can see if we can find that boy with the fantastic scooter. I had a little one as a kid, but I didn't know you could get better ones. I didn't have them in my day. There wasn't many to choose from. Here's an interesting scooter. So you don't have to push it even, you just have to wobble and it works. If they stop eating their ice cream, they'll be scootering again. So it's like skiing, you lean against, against each side, so it's the leaning that pushes you out forward. So Liam, would you like that, Lily? And you can't fall over, and when you're going downhill, you just lean back and off you go.
Well, I've stopped, stopped cycling on holiday now, but in case I have an accident, because I'm old now and I can't move so quickly to get out of, a, out of the way and escape an accident. I've nearly been killed twice and I managed to twist the cycle away, bent the wheel, but at least I escaped being run down by a truck and a bus. Because you can't play football with one leg, yeah. You can get it crushed under a car or a bus. But I went to Australia ten years ago and stayed with a Quaker meeting, meeting in uh, Brisbane and the family looking after the meeting house and the accommodation had two little girls. One was a spastic the other normal girl, and they got on quite well together. I came back ten years later and the family was so upset they didn't want to see me. They still had the little spastic girl, but the beautiful little girl, they let cycle on the main road in the busy port of uh, the Gold Coast, and she was mowed down, mowed down, life snuffed out by a car. It's too late to say sorry. Shouldn't have let my little daughter run uh, cycle on the main road. Didn't know a dirty old man when a car would come along and not care about her life. And uh, so I stayed with them a few nights and they just hated the little spastic girl. They wouldn't teach her anything. I just completely ignored her because they were so upset losing their normal girl. And uh, their hearts were broken. They weren't nice people anymore. They weren't very nice anyway. And I'd hate that to happen to Mike and his wife to have you die on a street because you didn't, you, you can't trust anyone else on the road anymore. People go far too fast and are far too stupid, far too young to be driving. So I'm going to turn you off now because this is pretty boring. Now I'll get myself home on the train. So point it at me. So you see me in the sunshine. Is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. So here I am. Hi there. So this is Huey. 72. Hadn't, haven't had an accident. No good brakes. Look after my bike. But I don't cycle on, New Zealand, on the Br London roads, even cycleways. But in France and Spain, I was, you know, fit enough to cycle the roads there. And the cars love cyclists because they have, you know, racing. They they race cycles there, the Tour de France, and uh, they all got a cycle for their Christmas present when they got old enough. But in England, after the war, they were too poor to buy their children cycles. So they grew up without having had a cycle, so they don't want their children to have cycles, and they hate everybody else with cycles, and run them down. It is true. The taxi drivers especially try to run the cyclists down. So this is my appeal to you all. You mustn't go on the road and risk your life. It's not worth the risk when you can go just as fast on a scooter and more safely and more fun and uh, without any risk from being run over by buses and trucks and cars. So, um, I'll start for them on the internet and send them to you and uh, you find the best one and I'll send it to you for your Christmas or your birthday, your combined birthday and Christmas. 
Say bye.